Hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you are doing great and staying safe. So I am back with another art journal video and this time I am doing the mission inspiration from Mike Deakins uh, September prompt which is about sunsets and sunflower and the colors that I have to use are mustard ochre, ochre burnt orange and ocean blue so I have taken out my inkstands uh, uh, blocks and I will be using them uh, to color my page uh, the art journal page is not primed so I am using them directly on the paper uh, this is my first time using the Inktense ink block, so um, I am not sure how they are going to be. I just know that you put them on the page <laughs> and uh, add watercolor water to it to blend them out. So that's what I am going to do. Okay, I have to admit that when I use the water on the ink stents block, I figured why they are called ink tense blocks. They are really intense color and um, uh, really beautifully spread well even when the page is not primed. I was a bit <laughs> uh, challenged by this uh, bright uh, spread of colors on my art journal paper but still I went ahead. So um, this is a transfer me of a sunflower uh, cut out and I am going to uh, put it on the paper. Um, uh, I am not sure whether it will going to uh, show the color which is on the on the page or um, is it going to affect the color of the actual print of the transfer me or not but uh, let's see so when i removed it it uh, sort of maintained most of its original color but i can see that uh, the yellow is playing some role in the green of the leaves uh, so uh, they are not as green as they were originally but i think i can do with that so once the page is dried um, i'm going to put a layer of matte medium on the to seal this uh, transfer me because uh, <clears throat> if i don't do that there is a chance for it to break when i keep adding textures and layers on the page So hoping that uh, uh, the inkstand block will not spread as quickly as they did with water. What I'm doing is I'm using a very dry brush and I am just uh, putting the matte medium in one stroke from bottom to top and uh, not going back. I'm just keeping my stroke from bottom to top. Uh, so that I don't uh, mix the dark color with the light color and uh, uh, using a dry brush with the matte medium helped me to keep uh, the color intact I'm um, sorry I was uh, uh, not recording at the time and I was doing it so what I did was just added few script stamp on the page using jet black uh, archival ink and sepia archival ink and after that i'm adding the splatter on the page which is part of the prompt so the ingredients of the prompts are circles doodles paper fragments drips and splatters and stamped images so using that text stamp uh, fulfill that prompt and now I'm combining the circle and doodles together and I'm creating these whimsical white star um, on the page uh, 
okay i'm happy with how the page looks now i'm going to work on adding some code on my page and these are my tidbits or collage items <laughs> I am just distressing the edges of all the focal elements so that um, they look uh, nice together and now I am just um, trying to figure how I want to position them and once I am done with that I am I have taken out the steam holes uh, chit chat stickers and took out a, a quote from it and that's what I'm going to use in my uh, journal today really sorry for any ambient nuances which you are hearing so uh, this time uh, I am showing you how I'm going to uh, how I um, stick my uh, collage elements together once I have uh, decided how to place them so I first uh, glue down each of them from the places where they are interacting and then uh, once that is done I take the whole uh, collage and uh, glue it down okay um, I am happy with how the page looks and now um, I am using the vintage photo for distressing the edges of the paper of the original uh, paper and uh, once that is done what I'm doing is I am defining the sunflowers uh, leaves and petals because uh, the transfer me took some of the color of the background so this will help it uh, help the sunflowers and its leaves to stand out and that was one of the reason why I added the matte medium to the page because um, uh, it helps me to uh, make this outline to the sunflower image if I wouldn't have done that uh, I would have ripped everything um, of the transfer me image I hope that makes sense and this is the close-up really happy with how uh, everything turned out my ink tense <laughs> experience is the first time and I know the blending is not that great but still I'm happy with how it turned out and it's giving a kind of an impression of a sunset sky and all these splatters the beautiful uh, image of the sunflower and uh, really happy with um, how everything turned out so guys if you like this uh, art journal please do give it a thumbs up and share with friends <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video bye for now Thank you.